Welcome, Sherry Anshara. I have been looking forward to this interview so much, and I'm so happy that you're here. Well, I'm thrilled and delighted. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. So you are the founding creator of Quantum Pathic Center of Consciousness, the Quantum Pathic Institute, and the Quantum Pathic Energy Method. I am so intrigued to figure out what this is all about. <laughs> you're also a prolific author, speaker, former radio show host of Consciousness Healing, local, national, and international writer, and she's authored over 12 books. This is amazing. So, Sherry, we're happy you're here today on behalf of We Choose to Thrive in our book launch, which has been absolutely amazing. We've had a lot of back-to-back -back interviews that have just been very inspirational, and now we're ready to hear a little bit about you, a whole lot about you and what you do, and, and really get to understand what, what you're all about. Would you Great. share? Well, thank you for this opportunity. I'm thrilled. Well, actually, um, I am Sherry Anshara, and I invented the Quantum Pathic Energy Method. And what it does is assist you, believe it or not, in 10 minutes or less, you can get to the core of an issue, emotional and physical. It doesn't mean you have total solution, but you begin to have resolution, like what I call the Buddha, oh my goddess, <laughs> or the aha. The aha. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, I got this. And so it's really the emotional body that makes us sick. So all the things outside of us, like the carcinogen that contributes to us being ill, but really, it's the emotionality. And actually, Candace Pert wrote a book called The Molecules of Emotion, and she got it. So emotions are snotty, viscous, gelatinous, icky, mucousy, everything. And so what happens is when those molecules go aberrant in our body, in our cells, it makes us sick. And so through that quantum empathic energy method, uh, we have the issue is that healing takes a long time. Well, it doesn't. It happens pretty quickly. Uh, so one of my friends was diagnosed with stage four cancer in, um, in June. And in January, she is completely cancer-free. Now, how does this happen? Because the body is the intelligence and intellect. So I will go back to 1991. I had a third near-death experience. I was 15 feet underwater, upside down in the Connecticut River, with my head split open, my neck broken, and actually my back was broken, which I didn't even know, which has actually resurfaced some of that old damage and trauma. And, and again, I'm going to put this caveat here. Pain in the body is the body's attempt to get your attention. And so though I had this tremendous accident, I knew that somewhere along the line, I created it. I did. And so in that experience, I had to learn how to heal myself because they said, oh, you're going to be bent over like this, and it's going to be this way because that's what they know. Uh, and I said, there has to be something in the body that knows more than my computer brain, and though I didn't call it the computer brain at the time. So our computer brain is not our intelligence and intellect. Far from it because it's a computer. So if you were going to, uh, ooh, I can hear those, look at maybe um, a dealing with an emotional issue, would you talk to your computer on your desk, your laptop, or your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Not so much, <laughs> because it runs programs. And so I teach non-duality, because duality is good and bad, high or low, sick or illness, or well, or whatever. And so the body has the innate intelligence. So it's through my own experience of creating the quantum pathic energy method was discover how could I heal myself. There had to be more than just something outside of me. Though I was grateful for the doctors or whatever, but I wasn't into taking medicine or pain pills because to me that stifled it. And it wasn't clear. And so I discovered why I created it. I was always trying to escape. <laughs> and I also found out we have contracts. And I also found out you can change the contracts to agreement. And we can be agreeable to our own self. So, so I have a question. Can I interrupt you here? Oh, sure. <clears throat> this is really fascinating. And I want, um, because this is for our We Choose to Thrive, most of the, all of the authors in this book, there's 31 authors, um, 
all have experienced a lot of abuse in their life. Um, yes. But whether it's sexual, emotional, physical, there's been a lot of abuse and they've all made some huge strides in, in the healing process. There are some that are, are, have experienced some recurring illness that, that is constantly there. So as we, and I know you're getting into it, so I want to make the framework around um, how that healing takes place because I think that a lot of it ties in with our emotions and, and the traumas that, that we've experienced in life. Definitely. And actually one of your authors, Tracy Bogan, ha, ha, has worked with me. She's individually and through the classes. And actually, I, I will say this, and I know she won't mind because she's on my YouTube, she's on my Facebook and everything. But Tracy, when I first met her, I didn't even know her name at all. She came to a free introduction and I walked up to her and I said, you've got Hashimoto's. And she said, what? You don't even know my name. I haven't even said anything to you because I could see that her throat was shot and closed up and in shock. So it's of the traumas that she uh, went through in her experiences, she was never able to speak her, her truth. The, the speaking part. Yes, and that happens to probably 99.9% .9 of individuals that are abused. And the other thing is you said physical and emotional. Well, emotional is physical, and physical is physical, and language is physical. So whether it's physical or emotional or language or sexual, abuse is abuse. It is. And our body internalizes it. And you talked about how it reoccurs. Because we've been programmed. Just consider the idea, and of course this is not judgment because I'm looking at it as consciousness, that people say, I survived cancer. So if you survive cancer, nine out of ten times you're going to get it again. So my clients don't survive cancer. They champion cancer, and it doesn't come back. Oh, that is remarkable. So how does this process work? Um, you've got me just on pins and needles to figure out how this works. <laughs> so, for instance, if someone has had experience in, in the past, this is what happens to children that have been abused. They go out of body. Do you know what out of body means? They are not fully present. That is how they are able to quote in that moment, survive. So can I give you a specific example? Yes. yes uh, one of my clients years ago had come to me not because of her sexual abuse. That was a given. She had spent 15 years. Remember, healing takes a long time program, and it doesn't. So for 15 years, she was in head therapy. Now, I'm not wronging it anywhere, but if you keep telling your story in the computer brain, left brain, it goes to the male side of your body. So we recreate, 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 and we create profiles in our lives of abusers. So I'll go back to the gal. So she really came to me with an arm and a shoulder and a scapula pain on her right male side. And so as I was working, I, I asked her permission, could I say something of what I was feeling and seeing as a medical intuitive? And she said, yes. I said, who is dragging you across the floor with your right arm? And she went crazy. She started yelling the F word and screaming and kicking and everything. And then she calmed down. She said, I have spent years talking about this. And she said she had pain in her arm. This is her heart chakra on the on male side, scapula. So she had had prolotherapy. She had injections. She had physical therapy. But guess what? Her father used to drag her across the floor by her right arm. And that was the beginning of the sexual abuse in front of her mother. So you see, and the pain went away completely. And she had full rotation of her arm. So the abuse started there when it really happened physically to him, the penetration and that, she was out of body then. And so talking about it, talking about it did not release the trauma from the body. And that's the brilliance of the quantum pathic energy method is you release the trauma from your body because it's physical and emotional and mental 
and spiritual and financial. Those five words mean the same thing. Why? Because what is the cost to you? And so the cost to her was 15 years of telling the story, which isn't wrong, but the story does not empower anybody. I teach wordology as your biology. If you look at the word empower, it starts E-M, turn it around, me power, mm -hmm. me power. And so then you're able, you can't change it. And we say, knowing at my deepest knowing, I can't change the past. But what I can do is release it at my cellular level of memory and memorization and take back my power. I can't change the past. It's one second ago. But I can change the future, and it's one second from now. So how does the quantum mathematic method work this way? How do you release it? How do you let it go out of the cellular level? Because I teach NEO, non-emotional observer. So when you observe it, you're not emotionally connected. It's not firing those neural nets in the computer brain. And you observe it and you see how it happened. You see not only your part, but their part. It doesn't mean what they did was um, acceptable or honoring, but you can't change it. But you can release it by becoming the first step as Neo, non emotional observer and stop the blame, the be lame game, and the shame, and the guilt. And what happens to many people that are abused? No one believes them. No one believes them and they don't have a voice. And that's what happens to throat chakra, thyroid, Hashimoto's, whatever. Or it can happen in the sexual chakra. It could happen with cervical cancer or, you know, hip replacements. Because the body can only take so much. And our body is meant to thrive and be alive. And I teach authentic self is not your birth sign, your numerology. Your authentic self is life. And if we are not in life and being alive, we can't thrive. I've had many abusers say to me, Sherry, it was like I died when I was seven. Or I died when I was three. And though they're walking around, they're not alive. Does right. that? Mm -hmm. And so through the methodology, they come to life. And they become in that me power of themselves, of how it happened and how you do not have to do it. Because many abusees have a profile out there of the abuser, and they recreate, 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 recreate in their computer brain. It could be a boss. It could be a spouse. True. It, it could be someone in their family. Often we, 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 we attract the same thing into our life. And this is what we teach. So in quantum physics, there's a th string theory, Michio Keiko, he's a co-author, but it's bands. So we send out these bands unconsciously, unconsciously, because when we're working in the computer brain, this is the subconscious. You know, your ba it's like your basement or your garage. You know you have to clean it out or your closet. And I would say, oh, I've cleaned out so many closets in my life. There must be a gremlin living in there. Making <laughs> now it's my cats. <laughs> and so, but the unconscious is the land upon which it's built, the foundation of the belief systems. So I've had many clients come that finally said something to their family. And their family said, you destroyed our family. Why did you tell? What did you do to deserve this? Why did you make that happen? Whether it's an adult male or female abusing a child, whether they're male or female. And I've had many men come to me that had been sexually abused by their teacher or by a parent or by an uncle or aunt. So it doesn't matter. It's not about gender. It's about what happens to us. That's right. That's and, that's, and that's how we create the profile. We're used to it. Right. You know, yeah. Or like somebody gets married and they get divorced and then they find somebody else and they marry them. I go, oh, my God, just like that other person. It is. How does this happen? <laughs> yes. Duh. <laughs> That's how it happened. And so the genius of it is that I teach people how to utilize these tools to free themselves. And I, too, just came out with a book called The Intelligence Code that's on Amazon, and we're getting ready to do some whippy zippy things on the, uh, the downloadable copy. And I'm very excited. 
but these are 14 individuals that have come through and become conscious. We have CEOs in there. We have the leading oncologist in the world. We have a professor emeritus, and we have everyday regular people that utilized it and their emotional, mental, physical, spiritual, financial life changed. Because again, what is the cost? Their businesses are thriving. Their personal lives are thriving. And we teach people how to be a soul match instead of a soul mate. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Yes, because a soul mate could be your best friend of me. <laughs> yeah, right. An adversary. So do they have, in this method, it sounds to me that it's not like going to a therapist where you have to go week after week after week after week and month after month and year after year. Your method is different from that. Yes. And I'm going to give you a perfect example. I have a client that came to me and later in life and she had spent, she, this, is, this is, I'm telling you what she told me. She said, I did the numbers. I spent $240,000 on therapy. And I said, if I had to listen to your story for $240,000 worth, one of us would be dead and it won't be me. <laughs> and you could have bought me a house. <laughs> you could have bought and me a so, very nice house. <laughs> a very nice house. And so here, and I can tell you the actual numbers, she spent $3,000. Two courses, seven fifty dollars each, and then sessions, and came back for another course. So is $3,000 an investment or is it a cost? It's an investment. But what is 240000 <laughs> from the time she was a kid till she's 60? And nothing was ever resolved. So we can't have a solution until we get to a resolution. And that begins to come by being Neo, non-emotional observer. So it's very exciting for me every day. And so people ask me, who's your niche marketing? I go, it's called humans. <laughs> <laughs> So I work with children and pregnant couples, and uh, you know, in the book there was a couple, and he's even in the medical field was told they weren't having any kids, and I go, so they wrote their their uh, chapter on Anya <laughs> because that's her name, her baby, <laughs> and so the the minute, the minute, the minute, the minute, the minute, the minute, the second the sperm hits the egg, you're in, you are a fully conscious being. So when I'm working with pregnant couples, that the babies actually talk to them and tell them stuff. And so as an intuitive, I can say, this is what the baby is saying. And they'll say, they can't know that. One of my own doctors said, Sherry, I'm six weeks pregnant. How can this be in all of my medical bottle? And you have to remember that I have a lot of doctors that come to me. And they send their families and their patients because they have come to me as a client because they're, they're regular people. You know, it doesn't matter that they're doctors or professors or teachers, and I have a lot of psychiatrists and psychologists that have come to me too. And they'll say, this makes more sense. And so to numb our pain, we take drugs. But it never really knows it, does it? Right. No, it doesn't. And so the intelligence and intellect is in the body. And so that's the difference because we're connecting to the body to the origination point in the continuum. And that you don't have to do it again. Over, so I'm going to show you this. What is this symbol? Can you see this? What is this? Right. Infinity, isn't it? Right. BS, BS, BS. So what's the first letter of the word belief? B. First letter of the word system. S. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called do over, do over, do over. Right. Whether it's in the continuum, and energy does not flow this way. In duality, it flows in a straight line, boring, or it goes like this, ah, up and down, up and down, had it, lost it, had it, lost it, did it. But in the quantum field, as I teach, it's a spiral. And in the spiral, it's one of the oldest symbols. So I teach people how to use it, and then it manifests. So I have a method of teaching you to be God, Godness, not a God. We've certainly got enough a gods around here, right? Actually, I love the shoe gods, so don't tell anybody. <laughs> They're my favorite gods, the shoe gods. But the idea of being godness, like why do we have a female side or a male or solar plexus? Or, so there's no such thing as a higher self and lower self. There's the self. But if we do the judgment of higher self, lower self, we're always separated from ourselves. So the method connects you to yourself. 
the need power. So that's how it works because it connects you to yourself. Yes. Without the shame or the blame or the judgment or a self-hate or self-loathing. And people recognize sometimes this is hard for people to say, I am worthy. Mm -hmm. I have worth and I have value and I'm valuable. And sometimes people have a challenge saying that because we were a lot of people do yes because we were born to die Mm -hmm. or we're less you know jesus said i'm not getting religious here you shall do as i do and more then why are we doing less and he said (laughs) we are aren't we yes and he said you are god he didn't say you're a god and if you're made in god's image why are we less we're less because of the belief systems that say you're not good enough or smart enough or you can't have this Somebody else can have it, but not you. Unworthy, yeah. It's the worthy. Less than, we don't love ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But it's the program. The program. The program. So if somebody comes to you and they've taken your training, they're pretty much able to to heal themselves going forward. Yes. Sorry, my dogs. Somebody just coming to the door on the back way, so the dogs are oh, noisy. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like you're having fun. I they love are. it. <laughs> and so it's a beginning. The Heal the Core is a 20 hour course that's $750. Divide that by 20 hours. What is it? Not very much. Not very much. I've had people walk out and get rid of cancer. I have people get walk out and let go of depression, but those are the beginning tools. So I have many courses that support you along the way. Matter of fact, I've even created the Quantum Pathic Institute for $49 a month. You get books, you get a meditation, you get tools for healing. So what is that? Is that a cost or an investment? <laughs> That's an investment. Yeah. Yes, and my clients will say, oh, my God, that's better than having to get in a car, drive somewhere, <laughs> and go talk about the same story over and over again. And that's why I created to make it really affordable. Now, I'm not doing a sales pitch here, but I created it, and I've written so far eight books for that, because we now on there have master courses. So for 50 bucks, you can do a master course. We have workbooks. We have things that you can fill it out, and you have the book forever. And it, so I have books on completion. I have books on what it means. Uh, I'm, I'm completing one this weekend called The Difference Between Contracts and Agreements. Because sometimes contracts are not agreeable in how it works. So everything that I do is about providing tools that are my favorite word, practical for everyone's life. That's Actually, just amazing. I actually work with this one family. I'm telling you, I'm going to adopt them. I've totally (laughs) followed up with this entire family. And since I work with them, I cleared their property. Their business is booming. And guess what they did with a, quote, dead area of their building? They created a healing room in their building for their employees. How amazing is that? Isn't it? Because it's practical. And, and there was, when I cleared it, I go, who's ever in this room is kind of a crab ass, but, you know, we're not going to blame him. And since we did it, he has been just lovely. And so they bring the methodologies through the classes with them to their business, and they empower their employees. And they've even paid for some of their employees to take the class. And some of the employees that have not brought their spouses. So then their, their employers, employees are doing much better. Everything's running much smoothly, so the business goes well. Everything's cool. And not conflict, or I hate my job, or blah, blah, blah. So it's called what I called involved conscious evolution. Involved conscious evolution. And we are starting with Quantum Pathic and the Institute, a movement. A movement of heartness, allness, and connectedness. Isn't that fabulous? It is. It's very fabulous. So we're breaking a paradigm here. And not to interrupt you, but we've been told we're one in oneness. I'm sorry, that's an old duality paradigm. This because we're all unique. And oneness says we're the same and we're not. And that used to perplex me. How could we be the same? We're not. We're unique. But in allness, we are allness within ourselves. And now in connectedness and heartness, 
we can connect to each other and admire and acknowledge our uniqueness without, without having to be the same. Does that make more sense? That's pretty fascinating. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody was to come to you, what's your process of, of helping them? Maybe, maybe they're not ready to take a course or, or they just want to get some resolution. What's your process? Well, first, I always tell them we're never ready. We're never <laughs> ready. Yeah. We have to be willing. If we are not willing, then we'll never be ready. So when someone comes from a private session, remember, I get referrals from a lot of doctors. Matter of fact, one of the doctors that I've worked with, he went to Harvard, actually, because of me. But I've worked with over 500 of his patients over the phone. I've never met them. You can do it over the phone. 20% of my clients I've never met. I just, the other day, I just did someone with, in England, in Canada, in Ohio, and I'm, I'll go get, uh, New Jersey, all over the place. Yeah. So when someone comes to me physically or even over the phone, I, I, uh, especially when they're here, I have them fill out an intake sheet. So it can go from ADD to XYZ. And what they do when they fill it out, the little boxes, you know what I tell them? It's all the same. It doesn't matter if it's A, B, X, Y, Z. It's all the same. So how is it all the same? Because it's based on belief systems. So wherever our body is the weakest and our immune system is the lowest is where we get sick. It's not necessarily genetics or biology. And so we will lower that frequency and the body can't take it. It gets sick. And so it's based on belief systems the same. So depression is deepest disappointment. Anxiety is unrealistic expectations. Cancer is eating us alive. Uh, diabetes is life is sour. Um, um, uh, what are some of the, uh, the pain in the body? Sick and tired of being sick and tired. So I, can, so I make it real practical so that there's an understanding to get to comprehension. And when you comprehend, then you see how that happens and so then I assess their body I show them without even touching them and even if they're over the phone if your shoulders are up that's responsibility if your jaws TMJ this is the creative chakra this are your hips la, 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 and people can't speak the energy is physical I'm actually teaching a quantum class right now that Tracy's in and people I'm, I'm teaching them how to experience energy from consciousness through touching objects, through what is my male and female side doing. Let's say, for instance, you're in the corporate world and you are the only female and you're in a male corporate. If you put your male side next to your boss's female side, sometimes it doesn't go so well hmm. because it's time to over, you know, over take him. I won't say power, but overtake him. So the body is very subtle and it knows everything. And so then I ask them, what is it that you would like to focus on? What is your direction? And sometimes they'll say, well, I'd like to work on the anxiety, which is unrealistic expectations. And then we will track it back to when somebody said something. So I will explain it. So let's say you're six years old, and I'm an authority figure, and I'm having a bad day. It doesn't matter if it's parents, teachers. And I tell you, you're stupid. Who are you going to believe system? Me. So here's a clear cell, and here's a little molecule of emotion. Here's the stupid cell. Stupid cell, stupid cell. So you're going along, and you're stupid here. There. So now you go to work for McDonald's, and you're 16, and the supervisor comes in having a bad day. You don't know it. You're taught to take it personal. And the supervisor, male or female, said, this is stupid. Whoops. That little stupid molecule. Oh, my God, it's starting to rattle in the clear cell. Whoa, 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 whoa. So now you go through stupid. So now you're 52, and you have all the vegetables behind your name. You went to Harvard Business School. You went to <laughs> Wharton. And you're like seven-figure income CFO of a Fortune 50. You are rocking. And so you come into the boardroom, and there is the CEO and the board members. CE throws your report and said, your report is stupid. We don't have enough blah, 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 blah. Ah! How old are you? <laughs> 56. <laughs> that yeah, that's old. right. Right. So, yeah. so the brain doesn't know. So I'm going to teach something here, and you can all write it down. Write down the word time. 
Break down the <laughs> All right, I got it. And split it in half. What does it spell? T I then M E. And what does it spell? Tie me. Tie me. Tie me up. <laughs> so I have too much time, too little time, not enough time. Time is running out. Time is. Time. So this is what I teach, and it's it's blissful. Time is. And this is the space time continuum because we're in a space, we're in a time, right? Connected. <laughs> So time is really an increment of space in which to have an experience. Wow. So in my time during the day, in my increments with my clients or doing this or writing or whatever I'm doing, in that increment of space, I choose how I participate. Mm -hmm. No one can over-participate me. <laughs> Does that mean? Nope, not doing that. <laughs> not happening. So it's how I choose to participate. And it's really fascinating. And so in these bands, I radiate heartness and fun. But, but you can come to my area of the town, and you can go up to Safeway, and they have a Starbucks in there. You can go in and say, I'd like a sherry. They know my drink. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So I was in there yesterday, and I had to run around to get a few things, and I, I you know, kind of waved over the people at Starbucks, and I'll say, I'll be back for my sherry, and I do my little shopping, go back, and there it's ready because they know what it is. I've made a heart-to-heart -heart connection. Mm -hmm. And so one of the young guys is there in school, and he's in business school. So I've told him about business school. I've told him about a High Point University, and we talk about – so I just don't go up there and say, you know, I'll have a Starbucks, there's a money get. But we, I engage. You connect. Yeah. Yes. It's called Involved Conscious Evolution. Revolutionary. Mm -hmm. So we're re revolting against duality without wronging it because it got us here. But now it's time to take the next step. And so when I look at these people's lives, 14 people, and guess what? Two of the chapters are on quantum sex and quantum relationships. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. And soul matches. And so whatever came before whether any of them had experienced abuse, whether it's verbal, it's physical, whether it's you're beating somebody up, it's physical, and it's sexual. It's still physical. And that's what we must comprehend, that that is what me because we're physical. This is our body. Mm -hmm. And so it has either a reaction, act one, scene two, or a response. And so I teach people about what responsibility is and when it isn't. And so the minute the sperm hits the egg, we're in, we've contracted. And so to, it's delightful to have um, even my former doctor, when she was six weeks pregnant, she said, in my medical, this is not happening, but she said, I can feel that baby at six weeks in the womb. I can connect because we love to connect. We do. But what does abuse do? It disconnects. It disconnects really badly. And the, and the abusees and the abusers usually come from what happened before and what happened before and what happened before. Very typical. Yes. yes. And that can be changed. And so I get to work with whole families. Um, I get to work with individuals. I get to work with business people and their businesses. It's that cool to create a healing room in your business. Well, that's fabulous. Yeah. And it was a dead space, and everybody was, like, really creeped out to go up the stairs because it was really creepy. <laughs> and so I cleared it, and we brought joy and harmony. And when I have people do their uh, spaces, for, for instance, if they're going to paint their room, we write all over the walls. Harmony and peacefulness, and, and then we paint. And, oh, it feels fabulous. I've done <laughs> it with my own house and my own space and my healing room. Even when the guy came to paint the outside of my house 11 years ago, I had written all these words. He goes, lady, do you know that there's words written on your brick? I said, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, just keep painting. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> and he goes, it's really weird, but somehow it feels right. <laughs> so if um, other than a session with you, in order to, to maintain, it, it comes with willingness to heal. And tune-ups. Mm -hmm. And the tune-up. Can, can, you, tune can you learn to do the tune-ups on yourself, by yourself? Yeah, absolutely. But sometimes you just like that sometimes interaction. Sometimes we need the help. Yeah. 
because right. I get a massage, you know, right. and I go to my naturopath who's been through my classes. She knows the method. And so, you know, uh, charts that I give out in the class, my charts are in her office from the emotionality. Shoulders are connected to the knees. Jaws are connected to the hips. This is the seven chakra system. This is the solar plexus. People don't teach that. That is fascinating. Oh, it's fabulous. It is. <laughs> oh, that sounds so exciting. So what else it. would you like to share with our audience that's listening or will be listening? Is there how we get a hold of you? Besides, well, maybe before we even do that, a little bit more on the process. So we come in and we see you and you, we filled out the form. Then what happens? Well, they, if it's over the phone, we do it over the phone, and I tell them to go somewhere to relax. But if it's here, they get to lay on this fabulous healing table I have. It's the size of a queen bed. And, and I've actually had people come and stay there. You know, it's, it's a lot. But, but you lay in there, and you just feel cocooned and safe. You feel really, really safe because that is the – consciousness in that room so they can say anything that they like when I use people's names like Tracy it's because she's in my book she's but I don't right. use it and this and, other and she's in my book too because I know exactly <laughs> and so it, it so the, the the family I told you about I didn't tell you where they are I didn't tell you their name but the fact is they're implementing the tools so then what we do is you know I show them how the body you know, the assessment, where's your leg or you're laying on a bed like this, your head's over here. And so that makes a difference. But most medical people or therapists, they don't look at the body. They're only looking up here. They're not seeing where the disconnect is. And then what we do is I will ask them, like, what is one of your issues? And someone might say, I'm depressed. So what, you're depressed. When it first activates in your body, where do you internalize it? Ah. <gasps> Here it's in my heart. What does it look like? Oh, it's black and heavy. This is your heart. This is the highest vibrational field in your body. Not because I say so. It's been tested. The brain doesn't really have it very much, really. And so it's black and heavy. So I have them construct, not visualize. Because in psychology, they say you're visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. If you're driving a car, you better be all those three things or we're not trouble. <laughs> Major trouble. <laughs> not major trouble, you know. And so in kinesthetic does not mean texting. And so, and I tell my clients, and myself. And so we build this room, space to place. We don't care what we call it, but it's dark and heavy. But the windows and doors are wide open. They can't get stuck. And then as Neo, the first time you came in here or you went to a museum, there's no emotional attachments. So what you do is you get in, you're safe, I'm with you, you're not being affected, and I'll, and I'll say, now how old are you in that room? Three, in the womb, I'm three. What happened at three? It could be, uh, my mother was really sick and we didn't know what to do. And someone had to take care of us. And then we find out that the mother had quote, suffered, because that's your idea of suffering in duality, had depression. And you learn not only their behavior, you learn their actions, you learn their language, you learn the behavior, and then that becomes the profile. And then you become the profile, and then you become the behavior, and then you become the action, you become in that role. And that's what happens. And so we go there, and they'll say, and we'll go through this, a process knowing at my deepest knowing I don't you know I can't change the past it's one second ago and we go through this um, template and it can be changed and altered but I do I hand that out in class so you can actually use it and then they begin the resolution of it so many of my clients will come for an hour session but I have packages and so some will come for three because in three hours you can accomplish so much or some can uh, accomplish in six hours and you get the sixth one free when you buy five and if you buy three you get the third one at half off and so it has been amazing and then as we go along and they take the classes or whatever and, and they're really rocking and then something happens and they know it triggered them and they're not exactly sure though they have the tools then they will come and say can I have a tune-up I would just like that connection with you the feeling the hands, the touch. 
So how much do you charge for um, a session where somebody comes in? Like one fifty an hour. Three sessions are three seventy five, and five sessions um, are seven fifty, and you get the sixth one free. Very reasonable. Very reasonable. Remember, two hundred forty thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I get that. And and, I, and then you have to look at what is wasted. Remember, time is an increment of space in which to have an experience. So I've had psychiatrists, psychologists, scientists, quantum physicists, doctors, kids say to me, "You make this makes sense. This and if it doesn't make sense, then why are we doing it?" <laughs> I like it. Uh, me too. I like it to make sense. And then I said, and then we can go on and do something else. Like, let's go shopping. Let's go look for some new shoes. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> yes, let's go have some fun. Let's go out to dinner. Let's have some fun instead of keep dragging it and dragging it. And so when we get to those, that six-year-old is running the program or the fetus or the 12-year-old or the 14, because the bands have increments of space where it gets re-triggered and re-triggered. It's fascinating. It is oh, fascinating. And I've been doing this over 20 years. Wow. Is that a little ahead of the game? <laughs> you are. Because <laughs> I was talking about cellular memory in 1991. How do you suppose they reacted? And it was a reaction, not a response. Mm -hmm. Right. Are you we crazy? Can... You're taking what are you cellular memory. What are you talking about? Yeah. Cellular memory. And if it wasn't for the transplants, they wouldn't have written about it. So the first transplant they wrote about was this high society lady, champagne and caviar, that got the heart of a beer guzzling, pizza eating, motorcycle guy. And after she got the heart, guess what she craved eating? Because it's a heart. <laughs> yeah, it's a and beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs> Much to the chagrin of her champagne and caviar family. What's <laughs> beer and pizza? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> yes. And so we memorize everything from the minute, the minute the sperm hits the egg, we're in and we're memorizing. And sometimes the memorizations override the clear memory. So, for instance, in cirrhosis of the liver, and they don't drink, it has memorized cirrhosis. Now, remember, the organs create themselves again and again, but now it's creating the memorization of the cirrhosis. So mm -hmm. we go back to the origination point of where it started and then the origination point of the clearness. And that's how I've worked with people who have gotten rid of lung cancer and cancer and depression and gotten off of meds. I don't tell them to get off of meds, but their body starts feeling better. And probably overweight as well you work with, yes. A lot, yes, a lot of overweight. And the weight, see, everybody thinks the weight is safe and holding on. The W-E-I-G-H-T is the W-A-I-T, the weight to get better. Ooh, isn't that profound? Wow. So we hang on, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Mm -hmm. And if you do it through the computer brain, it's telling the story over and over. So the wait gets longer, and then the wait gets bigger. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. That's intense. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Every day, no matter how intense it is, I love it. I absolutely love every moment of it. That's People say you get tired, but I get good tired. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Good tired. It's a good tired. It's a cuddle up in bed, sleep like a baby tired. Or, no, nah, not like a baby. Babies cry a lot, sorry. <laughs> like a log. <laughs> but, the, but the great part about it is I do not internalize. And if you look at a lot of healthcare practitioners, they're overweight or they're drained or they're smoking and I'm not getting smoking if you like smoking but they look so exhausted because, they are, because yeah they're taking it on they're taking it on that's right and here's a good example I had a nurse come to me and her mother had uh, loved her mother very close but she died of heart condition so guess what she is in she's in the heart unit and so she came into the class and she and she said, some days I'm like, and I'm rocking and everything. And what we found out is every time a profile of her mother came into her heart unit, she would relate that as her mother unconsciously and she would drain and be exhausted and take herself out, sometimes for days. And then when she recognized this through the class, she didn't do that anymore. She didn't do it. And now she's a traveling nurse. 
Mm -hmm. She goes all over the country to different heart units. And having fun. <laughs> and having fun and loving what she does. And know that she can recognize that if that woman is like a profile of her mother, she can nurture her in a different way as a nurse than taking herself down. So that's why I teach about what energy is and what consciousness is and what belief systems do and how they affect and infect our body to be sick. That is fascinating. So for our viewers that are, are watching, listening right now, um, how do we get a hold of you? Well, you can call me at 480-609-0874. You can go to my websites, sherryonshara.com and quantum pathic, Q -U -A -N -T -U -M, P -A -T -H -I -C, quantum pathic Q-U-A-N-T-U-M, P-A-T-H-I-C, quantumpathic.com. And, and uh, we're actually going to have a new website pretty soon. We just redid Cherry and Char, and now we're in the process of doing Quantum Pathic. But the information is fabulous. And you can also go on YouTube, forward slash Quantum Pathic, and watch some of the videos over the years of what people have said and what they've experienced. Fascinating. It is. And I love, I have to put this out, I love the millennials. <laughs> and they're so misunderstood. I love the millennials. <laughs> they rock. They have like, they have these little technology uh, bots in their, in their DNA. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They, they can sit down and go, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they just know it. I mean, they do this. I, I can only text with one finger. And, like, <laughs> I am so impressed. I love the millennials. I just had to put that plug in. That is so funny. I love it. <laughs> I've enjoyed this interview with you, Sherry, so much. It's fascinating to me. And I think it is for many of our listeners, too, because we, a lot of the issues that can be raped can be all kinds of issues that come with just holding the pain for so long. And yes. many of us, my, like myself included, I was 60 years old before I spoke up. I held it for a very, very long time. Yeah, and, and it's so fun. And, and, um, the best years of our life are right right in front of us, you know, and going right. forward. It's fascinating. And, and you absolutely are beautiful and glowing. And I'd like to put in one more plug, if it's okay. Sure. Absolutely. For those, so for those in Arizona in the Valley, on the first Wednesday of every month, first Wednesday of every month, I have a free introduction at 7 o'clock at the Quantum Pathic Center of Consciousness. So they're always welcome to call, and um, we put it up on Meetup, and it's an, and if and this is not the thing. If they go to my website, Quantum Pathic, which is the Quantum Path I see within me, <laughs> that's where it came from. So it, uh, if they sign up for our newsletter, they get a free book, and the book is Getting Your Answers in Ten Minutes or Less. Perfect. Good. Isn't that cool. That is way cool. Super cool. <laughs> oh, love it so much. Appreciate this time with you. Oh, thank you so much. I had so much fun. And you were awesome. And so um, we'll be following up. I will be following up with you because I'm interested in learning a little bit more, quite a bit more about this. Yeah. And, we, and we teach the class Healing Your Core every month. And then we have solar uh, Head to the Heart every so many months, Solar Plexus to the Feet, and the Quantum class. But that Healing the Core, that 20 hours, is so it's just so impacting and fun. And guess what? Many friendships have formed out of the classes. I am sure. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for this time, and we will be in touch. And for our listeners, we hope you got a lot out of this. Look, look up Sherry and, thank and you. find the benefit. Thank you. Have a fabulous weekend. <laughs>